home. Hi, H. Traveler here for the series You've Been Fooled, the third video, a series where we shake ideas about skincare and we shake them to see if they stand. The title of this video, which is Essential Oils Are the Devil, I should confess, it's of course a clickbait and it's meant to grab enough attention. But the truth is that we are here facing a big thing. Here we have a big elephant in the room, in the room of skincare. And this is not just a nice chubby elephant. This is not a young elephant. This is like an old guy, fat and very, very, very territorial, which is menacing the herd and is not really bringing that much good to the savannah. Skincare, it's about skin. It's not about essential oils. And we will see some evidence and I'll try to be very pedagogic because I think this is one we will come back to over and over again, because personally, this is a big thing for me. That's why the devil is here, because I don't think this is just an angel story. So maybe it's going to be very helpful before saying more about what they are to say what they aren't. And they are definitely not pressed oils. So when we say sunflower oil, olive oil, macadamia oil, when we say cosmetically, maybe more so marula oil, when we say rosehip oil, we are not talking about essential oils. Because these oils I just mentioned, which by the way, are far from being the devil, a lot of these pressed oils actually have a lot of positive benefits for the skin. They contain immense quantities of uh, essential fatty acids. They can contain vitamins, antioxidants, many beneficial molecules, and uh, some of them even contain alternatives to retinol. Um, not that they are retinol, but uh, let's say molecules that can work similar pathways as retinol does. And we are not here saying if it works more or less, but none of these are essential oils. What the different touching point is of what an essential oil is, is that, as I mentioned, it's volatile. Volatile meaning it evaporates at room temperature. And none of these pressed oils I mentioned, which are also used for food, are volatile. You can leave a bottle of olive oil open for weeks and months and eventually years. Of course, it will rinse it, it will alter, but it will not uh, evaporate. And the difference also in obtaining these oils is that while the pressed oils are simply obtained pressing the fruits, the seeds um, where they are contained, um, essential oils are obtained through steaming, so distillation, and they use vapor, high temperature condensation uh, to separate the essential oil from the floral water. Essential oils do not belong in skincare as they are packed with allergens. Essential oils in skincare are the balance which is totally wrong because you have the highest risk in terms of allergens and you have the lowest evidence of a skincare benefit. What is an allergen? An allergen, it's a mathematical probability to have a negative reaction. And the negative reaction comes from skin. So there are some molecules which are known for being more allergenic than the others. Essential oil is a name for a cocktail of allergens, topically. I have to go back to that over and over because the last thing I want is to waste my energy and my time fighting the wrong enemy. Essential oils, as in aromatherapy, as in fragrance, as in spa, massage, candles, 
uh, oils that you massage, dilute and you rinse off, etc., etc., are not my enemy. My enemy is the presence of essential oils in high concentrations as a belief and a philosophy in skincare, which is actually almost a skin crime. If you think skin biology, you know that the last thing that human skin wants is a cocktail of allergens. You will see that in the ingredient list of most natural, there you are, take your own poison, natural brands and uh, in the clean beauty universe, which is so worried about certain preservatives and about the presence of silicon or no silicon, but then all the allergens from the essential oils cross the gate, there is no filter and they are listed there. When you see them, you will always see an asterisk with these softening expressions naturally occurring in essential oil, naturally occurring in the fragrance, natural compound of essential oil. And all these wordings, which are regulated and are acceptable, but all these are simply a misleading way to communicate with the consumer because the consumer takes it in a very fluffy positive way because of course if natural is good and chemical is bad these words that sound more chemical but they are presented on a silver plate as naturally occurring nobody will question unless you ask the question philosophical question who are you what are you what force are you so what are you, linalol? What are you, coumarin? What are you, eugenol? Are you a protein? Are you a vitamin? Are you an antioxidant? Are you an amino acid? What are you? And the answer is, I am an allergen. So we talked extensively, but I, I enjoyed it. I, I hope you did as well. By the way, if you enjoy this type of videos, it's also time to start, like all the other YouTubers, to invite you to subscribe my channel. As I mentioned something in the beginning, but now I'm openly declaring that I think you should subscribe, you should click on the bell, so that whenever there is a new video, you get information to listen to this crazy guy who passionately shakes ideas and talks about skincare, because there is a lot of stuff out there which is called skincare and it is not caring. I think any serious brand which is serious about skincare needs to have enough options in formulation which are allergen free and even fragrance free. I cannot understand a serious skincare brand where all products contain fragrance, allergen containing fragrances and those based on essential oils will always be the case because there is no such thing an essential oil which is allergen free. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope the elephant it's now going back to the greens where it belongs to do other things which are not skincare. And remember always to say no to boring skincare. Ciao!